よーわっ good YouTube It's your man's mo back for another fucking video and today man you feel me we got us another 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 nice reaction video you feel what I'm saying as you can see we got us a uh, um Devante the one right you feel me? And I've been watching some of his videos, you feel what I'm saying? I sometimes, you know, they hit my recommended and shit. You feel me? And I click the channel and I, you know, I watch this one, bro. This one right here, bro. Wild. <laughs> this is wild. But anyway, you know, I've I've gone through the channel, I've seen a couple of things. You feel what I'm saying? I, I'm 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 liking it. So far, I'm liking it. You feel what I'm saying? I watched all of this. I'm gonna say today, but I've watched all of this recently, um, and uh, I don't know which right now. I, I'm kind of I want to react to one. You feel what I'm saying? One that I haven't watched. And I'm, it's like a tie between the worst whooping, the worst whooping I ever got. He left a surprise in my sock. High as a kite, or my toxic teacher. Chocolate wasted teacher. I don't know about the losing bet gone wrong. Featuring M. John the Frog. <laughs> this one was retarded. This one was crazy as <laughs> fuck. All right, but back to the topic at hand. All right, so which one? All right, so we gonna go with uh. Taste my spit. What the fuck? Taste my spit. What the fuck? Yeah, we gonna go with this. We gonna go with this one. Taste my spit. Uh, hopefully this ain't on no no sus no sus no sus shit. You feel what I'm saying? Honey found a coupon code for two hundred and twenty one dollars. <laughs> We're literally about to check out without honey. I used to get fast food a lot. I'm talking 10 piece nugget meal, large Sprite with no ice, mm -hmm. barbecue sauce on the side every day. Hey, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap. Hey, no cap, I used to be the same way. Before I used to, you feel me, take care of myself, sun gay, sun baby, you feel what I'm, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Hey, 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 but that's a, you know, that's for, for that's for a different time. But hey, I ain't gonna cat. I used to be on the same way. I used to go to uh, McDonald's, get the McChicken all the time. I used to go to uh, 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 Wendy's, get all get the spicy joint all the time. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, uh, you you feel me? Yo. But thanks to my high metabolism, I didn't have to worry about looking like Rod Wave. Back. So it got to the point oh. where I did it for sports. And my sister would always make me very aware of that. Eat, eat, eat. That's all you do. You always eating. And it ain't even healthy food. You ever heard of a salad? <laughs> Vegetables? Home cooked meal? But I didn't care. Because fast food was like the corn to my cob. However, when no cab, but that's how they get you though. It be fat, it be cheap and fast. You feel what I'm saying? Like usually people, people, you know what I'm saying? People be moving, especially niggas that really be on their grind and shit. You feel what I'm saying? They gotta, you know, and they don't got much time. They be working, they be working, they work, they work. You feel what I'm saying? So they really like, you feel me? Be pushing fast food because it's cheap. Helps you save money. It's cheap and it's fast. It take, bro. Listen, li look, listen, bro. You gotta realize. Look, 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 look. You you pull up, right? You pull up. You say your order. You say your order. Yeah, let me get a uh, let me get a large Dr Pepper. With um, with um a large fry. And a and a, and a large cheeseburger. You feel what I'm saying? You say your order, right? It only, it only takes like a minute. You feel me? You say your order. You pull up to the first window, you give the car, you pay. That takes at max, at max, that should only take like two, three minutes right there. 
You feel what I'm saying? You give her your card, she swipe it. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, not even two minutes. Another minute. That's another. You give her the card, she swipe it. You feel what I'm saying? She put it. She she click a button. The receipt print. You feel what I'm saying? A minute. She give it back. A minute or two minutes. So that's three minutes right there. You pull up to the next window and you and and. And if it's if it's a, a a fast fast food restaurant, you feel what I'm saying? They just give you your food right there. So four four or five minutes max, but you getting your food. You feel what I'm saying? And it's cheap. I only you only gotta spend like five dollars, five six dollars. You feel what I'm saying? To get a, a large everything. That's how they get you though. Cause then you you feel what I, you feel what I'm saying? That's how they get you. That's how they get when you I started though. working at fast food joints, all that changed. Since this story happened, I never trusted fast food ever again. So I'm gonna make this very clear. <laughs> on the outside, they look professional, but on the inside, Dirty. a lot of fast food places Dirty. are ghetto. Dirty. For example, code switching for employees is crucial because people love swarming in minutes before closing. News flags. Never order food when a fast food place is about to close. You will get a hundred percent the worst service. Like niggas is trying to go home, man. They probably gonna fuck your doors, shit up. We you shit about to drop on the floor. They doors. not gonna care. They gonna still put it in the bun. All types of shit. You feel me? Last year I was just mouse. This year I'm finna be MNC mouse, and nobody gonna stop me. Where you get all this? I ain't never been outside with. You know what I'm saying? Nig niggas is probably niggas at the fast food when it's about to be closing. And, and, and mad niggas come, you feel me? They probably over there flipping mad burgers, one drop on the floor. They don't give a fuck. They just pick it up, put it right on the bun, give it to you and shit. Cause they not the ones eating it. So you feel me? They don't. They don't care. They put it right on the bun. You feel what I'm saying? And they give it to you. Dirt. That shit, damn man. That shit dirty. Once, once I, you know, once I went through the, you know, the awakening that I went through, bro. I yeah, bro. Like. I don't, I don't go to, I don't go to fast food restaurants. Like, fast food, like, like, it takes, like, minimum, if it takes less than 15 minutes, bruh, I'm not going to it. Like, if it takes less than 15 minutes for them to give me my food, I'm not going to it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Not even for the fries. Not even for the fucking fries. Hello? Hello? Uh, welcome to Rack Steve's. How can I help you? Uh, yes, could I get the 10 piece chicken nugget meal with the large sprite and the barbecue sauce? Uh, Why are you making my uh, Asian? I think we are out of the barbecue sauce, sir. I mean, well, can you check? I need my sauce. I can't have dry chicken, man. Nigga, can you check? One moment, sir. Can you Here, come get this phone? I'm tired. I am tired. I'm about to leave. I can't do this. I'm tired. People come out from out of barbecue sauce. You want, you want some barbecue sauce? I just told him we ain't got no barbecue sauce. Why you going say it again? And then talk about some can you check? Oh girl, I know what it is. He racist. I swear. Oh my god. Tell me nothing. These people are racist. Oh my god. Racist. And then we'll talk in the mic on. Can you check? Look, if you gonna be like that, bruh, if you gonna be like that, and you, like, you might as well quit. Why are you still working? Like, bro, why are you still working there if you gonna be like that, right? Like, I understand you having a bad day and shit, like, but, bro, if you can't, like, if you're, if you're, all right, bro, on some real shit, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me tap it, let me tap into, like, let me tap into my other mode. Let me tap into my higher self. Let me let me tap into something real quick. You feel me? If you are working in a place, right? And working at that place makes you not like your life anymore. Stop working there. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't like yourself because you're working there, it makes your life less enjoyable because you're working there quit the job 
stop working there. Like, you're so willing to work for this at this place knowing that it's going to make you mentally unstable. Like, it's making you sick. Like, you're literally becoming sick working there, but you're going to keep working there. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're seriously going through mental negative thoughts that aren't even your actual thoughts. Like, it's not even you really sitting there processing. It's you're like you're being those thoughts are being put into you by negative entity and then negative entities and you're still working there but you don't like it you don't like waking up to go to the job you don't like being at the job and when you get off you're so damn tired that you can't do nothing else but you still work there and the pay not good enough but you still work there. Hey. <laughs> what up? Okay. Believe it or not, regardless of the nicest customer or the most irritating customer, this really happened on the inside. A lot. Not saying in all, but a lot. In my days as an employee working at fast food back then, I've learned just to keep my order simple, you know? Don't make it so hard on the worker. Be nice because they're already working nine to five, bro. They gotta deal with people that drive them insane all freaking day. They're not trying to have you about to fight them over some barbecue sauce. I, if they're I, out mean, of I, something, I don't think I ever worked that. They're like just out of something. Don't argue. Whatever. Because from an employee perspective, if like you a piss pity, off like a customer, can that just makes the store look bad. But the I last thing you want to do is piss off a worker. Because even though not every restaurant is <laughs> the ghetto on the inside, as I've made very clear, there's always at least one bad egg in the mix somewhere. This is why I don't whoa, trust whoa, fast food. The store look bad, but the last thing you want to do is piss off a worker. Because even though not every restaurant is the ghetto on the inside, as I've made very clear, there's always a sir. What is that? What is this? What what is that? What is that, bro? What is this? What is, what is this? What what is this? Cause if this is an egg, if 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 this was the the egg that you was trying to you draw, you feel me? I'm uh, bro, this looks like a half cut, uncooked hot dog. You feel what I, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? This is like a un, like a half cut uncooked hot dog right here, bro. This is like a a hot dog you took out the uh out the uh, out the pack. You cut it in half and was about to cook it with your, with your, uh, with your, with your, um, like you was about to cook it in the microwave with, with something. Yeah, bro. Uh, no. That's, that's, that's At least not one bad right. egg in the mix that's somewhere. Not, this right. is why I don't trust fast food. You got to think about it like this. As soon as you pull up, your health is in their hands. They can do anything they feel like, and God help your soul if they have a boss that doesn't care. The place I used to work at, uh, we're gonna call it, uh... Not even just that. Bro, like, hold on, look, 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 Let me, let me tell you something, right? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The whole point of a business, right? The whole point of a business, right? The whole point of a business... It's to make money, right? I, I'm pretty sure we could all agree on that. We don't need to be business owners, have a business degree, and, and or a, a master's degree, a business degree, a master's degree in business to know that businesses are made to make money, profit, so to speak. Businesses are made to make profit. And within that profit, they need to not only pay the lights, pay insurance, all that stuff, they have to make profit enough to put in their pocket. You feel what I'm saying? They got to do a lot of things with that profit that they get. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Or, you no, no, no. I'm, I'm messing up. Correction. All the money that they get, all the money that they get, you feel what I'm saying? They got to pay all the bills and stuff, make sure everything is right, and then what's left over is a profit. That's what I'm trying to say. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say. Now, 
if you go to a spot, right, a fast food spot, right, like I said before, it's cheap. It's fast food. You feel what I'm saying? It's quick, cheap, easy, right? You're buying a burger. You're buying a cheeseburger. You're buying a uh, make chicken, some fries and whatnot. You feel what I'm saying? Potatoes, potatoes go on the ground. I think it could go ahead and just grow some potatoes easy. But like, you're paying, for example, make chicken. You're paying a dollar for a make chicken. You feel what I'm saying? You're paying a dollar for a make chicken. Now, if you was you paying a dollar for just that one make chicken, you feel what I'm saying? Now. For them to make profit, they would have to be paying less than a dollar per McChicken. Because they, they got to order in bunches. They got to get this shit in, in, in packs and shit, a bunch, like a, a, a boatload. So they got to be paying less than a dollar for, for the chicken, right? So if they're paying less than a dollar for the chicken... It's it's about two two options. One, that's not chicken. Or at least it's not real chicken. Or two, it's bad chicken. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I could go to I could I could go to the grocery store, right? I could go to the grocery store, right, and get me like some chicken breast or whatnot. I promise you, I promise, I promise you. On God, I promise you. The cheapest chicken at that grocery store is still more than the whole McChicken with bread, lettuce, uh, 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 uh mayo. All that is still more than that chicken that you're buying at the McDonald's. So, like, what are you really eating? What are you really eating, my boy? If you're paying less than a dollar, you're paying less. You're pay- No, you're paying more than what they're paying. And if they're paying that, that little that they can give you this McChicken for a dollar and still have enough on the side to, 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 to call profit... What are you actually eating? And if you're and if you're eating it, is it actually good for you? You feel what I'm saying? But like, all right, bro. All right, let me check because conscious mode is coming out. Let me, chill, let me check. Let me check. And during my time there, I must say it was the worst but best time Rex of D. my childhood. It was my first job I ever had. I went in a boy, left out a man two and a half Maybe. years later. And just like two, I said before, oh not God, all places are the years. ghetto, but still has at least one bad egg. This one had a lot of bad eggs. However, I'm going to only speak on one. Ooh, it was this kid. We're going to name him um Cam. Cam was evil. Then it was he was a Hall of Fame troublemaker because mainly he didn't have any guidance. He grew up without a father figure father and, he lived, and, and he lived a fast life and hung around the wrong crowds. Like, and he wanted to be a <laughs> gang banger so to get bad and, get and bad. would do anything at any cost to have that status, especially with his huge ego and arrogance. This boy was dangerous. You could not save him. He most definitely was a product of his environment. But somehow, down the line, I became friends with this dude, mainly because I was immature back then. And I witnessed Cam do a lot of ignorant and crazy things, me included in a lot of those situations. That's your fault. However, I'm gonna save that video for another day. That's but I'm gonna speak never, on if, if one that was of the those case, situations. If that was the case, and, bro, if that was the case, obviously, obviously, a lot of things pop up like afterwards. You feel know what I'm saying? A lot of things that you know you notice about people after y'all stop being friends. But like, bro, that's your fault. You became friends with that nigga, man. What the fuck?
stupid. Should've never became friends with me. Right now. One day, me and Cam are in the back whipping up chicken and sandwiches, getting out orders, talking trash, goofing around, you know. And our bosses were out and about, and we were the only ones in the back of the kitchen. And believe it or not, we were the best in the kitchen. One of our loyal customers walks in and orders his usual, a grilled chicken sandwich with nothing on it. Now, me as an employee, I a value and respect loyal customers. Wait, I'm wrong. A grilled chicken sandwich with nothing on it. So no lettuce, no tomato, no onion, no nothing. Just bread and chicken together. Dry. That sounds dry as hell, my boy. Dry. Because I always know what they want. They make my job easier. Get in, get out. Cam, on the other hand, did not value or respect anybody and that led him to do evil things for fun like can you imagine trusting this nigga with your food supply on trips this is the type of nigga that when you're in the desert and you're hungry he throws you a dry popeyes biscuit with no sauce or water like bruh you're gonna die he fixes the sandwich he puts it on the plate gives it to the cashier they give it to the customer he sits down and eats not even 30 seconds later the customer walks back up and tells the cashier his chicken was lukewarm nobody wants lukewarm food at fast food hot and ready only the cashier tells him to fix another one he gets pissed workers hate when they have to remake food and i understand should have made it the, I used right, to do it the, all the, the time, right way the first time but i learned yeah. to keep that from happening just make sure the food's fresh the first time it goes out now remember cam did evil things for fun so this only fueled the fire even more so cam did something I only thought they did in movies and I can't make this up I witnessed this with my own eyes man so you've chosen death old man all right bet you like grilled chickens hmm? <laughs> you like grilled chicken and I'll bet you love this too taste my spit he did this so fast that before I could do anything about it, he bagged. Listen, bro. If what would you do, right? What would you do if you if you have if you order food from anywhere, from the nicest place you ever can imagine, the the nastiest place, the in between, it don't matter. Wherever you order food at, right? Imagine you ordering food, and the person who made the food spit in your food. And you ate the food, right? You did you didn't even know you were eating that person's spit until just now. What would you do? What would you do? Ask yourself that. Cleaned it up, gave it to the cashier, then the customer, he leaves. After that day, I never saw that customer again. And we all know why. Did I say anything to my boss? because I wasn't no snitch back then. Should I have said something? Yes. Do I still go to fast food restaurants after a three year hiatus after experiencing this, even though I still don't trust them? Yes. Oh, you dirty. Yo, Devonte here, quick announcement. Hey, that was a nice quick little video, you feel me? I got a little, yeah, little conscious, you feel me? How yourself came out a little bit. But it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's questions you need to ask yourself, you feel what I'm saying? It's cool. Little questions like that lead to, you know, bigger pictures. You know, as every day, if you can open your, your you know, the vision or, you know, how much you can see through the peephole, you feel what I'm saying? The more you can get, you feel what I'm saying? But, you know, anyway, make sure you go ahead yeah. and you like the video.